Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to another video of Dyson Sphere Program. This right here, we're going to move that plastic supply line. Like that plastic supply line, that's going to be upgraded all the way around. So I'm going to upgrade that one. Like that, that is maximum upgrade on there. And I'm going to do the maximum upgrade again. We'll now fly out over this way because I'm not quite sure. There, we've got the we've got a little bit more of it over this side. So this is this is the graphene here, isn't it? So I'm gonna upgrade and I'm gonna upgrade. That's already on super fast belts. This is now on super fast belts. I'm looking at this one in here. I've got the oil and I've got the graphite, but the, the graphene itself, we've got a very limited quantity. I could do with having some more of that. So we may have to put some more of these down over here. But we need to move that stone out of the way first. That's, that's going to have to be shifted. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll go in here and I will actually take 50 stone. I mean, there's half a million stone in there. So honestly, I don't think it's going to make a huge amount of difference to anything. But uh, it'll certainly help things along a little bit if we do that. There we go. And it also gives me a little bit of stone as well for making a few other items. Right, so I've got everything whizzing along here at breakneck speed. And we are slowly accumulating it all in storage. It's going to take a little while to finish that off. And I one, I think one possible mistake that I have just gone and made is that we're doing all of this because I want to make the particle broadband. I've got those two, but it's this one. I need three graphene and I need the titanium ingots. So I'm just wondering if I should be making that bit over here rather than making it elsewhere. No, I don't think I will. I think we will leave it like this. Over this side, I've got... Steel and copper are coming out of here. I mean, I'm not actually using the copper, to be honest, over on this side. And then going into here, I've got them. I don't seem to have titanium going through local distribution. Right, that one, I've got demand. And then I'm, I've got the titanium alloy coming in here. Ooh, actually... That'll work out quite nicely because that's titanium that's going in there. So if we upgrade that belt a minute. Upgrade and upgrade. And I will just run back over this side. That's already fully upgraded. That's fully upgraded into there. The rest of it's looking pretty good. So then I'll come over to this point And we drop down here a second. Uh, I've got two items coming in here. I've got that one running in. I've got a little bit of storage of that off to the side. And then in here, I've got some belts that are just uh, taking that. So we're supplying this one. And we're feeding that one out. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put a splitter on here. Except that I'm not entirely sure I can put a... No, I don't need to. I don't need to put a splitter on there at all. I just run the belt out the end over here. So we'll just take that. You'll get to that point. You'll go up to there and you'll drop in like that. And then if I go in here and I click on that one, then I've got titanium. i got titanium supply. So that's going to run in a massive amount of titanium all the way through with a whoosh. And then I'm going to have titanium stored in there. I've got the other items that I want over in this one. I need to just drop in uh, half of the drones that I've got. So I've got 10 out of 10 in there. And I need to put a little bit of power down for this one as well. So we will just do that. And then I've got a power supply. Right. Materials are supplied and ready. So then we can whiz over to this side. I need another planetary thing, which we're going to drop down right there. Let me land over here a second. And where are we going to build this? So I'm going to put the planetary bit over this way. So that is transportation and that one right there. So that's going to go out there like that 
And then I'm going to have a look in here and I'm going to drop in the 10 drones like that. Now, I need titanium. I need... Yeah, I need four ingredients to come over here and I can only have three with this planetary logistics station. So we're going to see if we can... How, I don't know how close I can run them. But I'm going to get another planetary logistics station in here. I've only got materials for one... Of, oh, it's because I don't have any steel. Right, well, steel is actually relatively easy to go and get because I've got it just over here. It is in that storage right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. Right. There's eight bits of steel. I want to go in here now. I can only... One? Why only one? What, what do I need now? That's these... That's them. Surely the magnet rings there is the reason that I can't make them. Um, let me cancel that one there a second. I'm going to go over this way. I'm going to take a stack of those, which I don't currently have on me. And I want some more of these engine units. There. Oh, there's the storage down there. Not the conveyor belt. No, not the conveyor belt. That one down there. Right, so let's take another few stacks of them. And then we can have a look in here. And what have I got? Two. What am I short of that it's stopping me from making these things? Right, it's not steel. It's It's got to be these. It's because I... No, I've got the, I've got the graphene as well. I've literally... I've got all of the... Ooh, this one? It's this one now. Because I haven't got very many of the microcrystalline components, so I don't have very many processors. Anyway, that, that that doesn't really matter. I only want one anyway. Go and bring that one back over this way. I'm going to drop the second one right in close. Too close to another logistics station. Too close. Right, so you can have them fairly close together. So we'll, we'll do that. We, we will drop in this one here. Too close. And that's where we build it. Right, so that one's going to go into there. Which means that I'm also going to want 10 drones to go into that one. So I want to go to drones right there. And I want 10 drones to go into this second one right here. And yeah, right. Well, we'll leave that for a minute. And then also going to want to fill up the water over this side a bit. I've got 240 of the build platforms still. So let's fill up some of this water over this side. There we go. And then I want to build it out sort of over this way a little bit. I got plenty of landfill at the moment. I went and got some from one of the other planets, didn't I? Dug out a whole load of stuff down there. So I put all of this through. The other thing that we want to go and get, uh, once I've got this bit up and running, I'm going to want to then go and uh, tap into all the oil that we've got right where across this planet. Because there is a nice lot of oil on the planet. We have got plenty here. But we just kind of need to tap into it to make good use of it. So let me get rid of that one and that one a second. That actually does go all the way over to there. But I'm going to give it a bit of redundancy out around that way as well. Just to make absolutely certain that it's all okay. Uh, I have run out of fuel. Let's drop in some more then. Okay, things are starting to look better in there. And then I want to put... Where's my drones gone? There's my 10 drones in here. So this one, I'm demanding titanium. There, I want to demand titanium. There, I'm going to get a whole load of that. And then this one over here, we're going to demand crystal silicon. We're going to demand graphene. Uh, there, demand. And then we're gonna demand... What's the last one? Plastic. Plastic. That's the, the, the last one that we want. Uh, demand that one in there as well. So I've got 
these materials, they're going to be brought over. The graphene, the plastic, obviously we've got not very much of that. It's going to take a little bit to bring all of these supplies over. They will get here eventually, but it's going to take a minute or two. So while we wait for that bit to get set up, I then want to go to buildings over here. So I've got them. Uh, let's make another five of these so I've got the fast ones. And it's those right there. I have got a storage for these. So if I take a couple stacks like that, I don't need to worry about the microcrystalline components. I can then go into here like this and... There, now I can make 48 of these. Right, one, two, three. There, so we got a few stacks of them. Um, Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it like that for a minute. I don't want to sort of use up loads of stuff. It's, it's the space for making everything else that's kind of a bit of an issue. Um, First set that I want to make is got to be the graphene. The, not the graphene, the, the like the, the circles of graphene. And that, the graphene tubes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so we're going to go one, two, three, four of these to start off with. We'll go in here and we'll take a look at that. And wait a minute. A bad feeling about this. Components. Carbon nanotube. Mini fusion power station. Oh, chemical facility. Yeah, I, I was wondering about that. Right, so I need to make some chemical facilities. I've got two. Chemical plant right there. Uh, building chemical plant fractionator. I just want to make sure that, because it says chemical plant, it said chemical facility on the other one. Um, there is an easy way to go and do this rather than trying to make anything else just yet. Let's actually just put down one of these and double check that it is the right item so i'm gonna bring that one over here a little bit away from that so i got room to put some belts up the side and we'll drop that one in there and then we can go in here and we can have a look and there it is carbon nanotube this one here spinny form stalagmite crystal right well we're not making any of that anytime soon we're going to be making carbon nanotubes in vast quantities. So if I can make carbon nanotubes, that means that I have very briefly got to go and make some more of these. I've got one. I want, say, uh, let's have six chemical plants all together. Uh, two. So if I put those down, it's going to be another four chemical plants that they will go and make. And yeah, that should be fine. So it's got to actually manufacture all the glass and everything else in order to do this. So we've got to wait for them to turn up. Uh, so while we're waiting for those to turn up, the next layer is going to be... Let's just make sure that I can actually make... I may have made all the wrong items. It's particle broadband that I want next. That is an assembler. So we can start assembling those bits for a minute uh production right here so we want to put these here like a little bit out from them we got room to come up the side with belts so we're gonna go one two actually let's not go any more than that for a second we'll go into there and then we can go particle broadband like that and then if i just quickly get rid of that one now i shift click that one and that copies the recipe that's already built into it. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. I probably don't need ten of these to make this particle broadband. But I figure that overkill is better than underkill. I feel that's a good kind of principle to go with overkill is better than underkill so we want three belts running along this one i've also got these to make now i actually think that we should be putting them round the other way and i actually think that i should be making more than just those few chemical plants i can make five more actually i just want four more because that'll make six in total so if i do another four I can't make them very quickly because I'm waiting on the glass and stuff. That's alright. We don't mind that. Alright. 
these chemical plants here. So I'm going to put these around this way and I'm actually going to like try and join and split belts a little bit in order to make these so that I can keep them in this direction. Now I have no idea if this idea is going to actually work. So we can put them in tight like that. I don't want to do that. So we're going to have to put them out like that. If I rotate them round. Yeah, I've, I've no idea if this would be a, a good idea to do or not. This, this might work because I need two ingredients to go in. So I need a double belt down one side and then I need a belt coming out. And then I need a double belt coming in over here which means in order to be able to do that i'm gonna need splitters up there and it's gonna that's just gonna get messy isn't it right so scrap that idea then and instead go back and we will do the original idea which was just to have these in long line i'll bring the long line over this way it's actually got to move up that's where it's gonna have to go which is not enough room. I need to put these logistic belts in a minute. So I've got to set them from this side down over here. So we want to go one belt there. That's going to run all the way through. And then I'm going to have a second belt all the way through. And then I'm going to have a third belt running all the way through. That's the three lots of materials that I want for there and then this one is actually there is just enough room to do this this will work so I can set that one that one's gonna run all the way down over to here like this and then I got room for two belts on the other side so that that is actually gonna work so if I jump into there a second and I have the carbon nanotube like that then I shift click that one to copy that recipe and then I put these in line like that so there's three four five six seven and if I want to have more I need to put them up over this way which is what I'm gonna do I think I am I'm just gonna move them up here and We'll go past that bit a little ways and I'll move up that way by one and I'll go one, two and three. So I've got ten of these in place as well. So we're going to want to also put in more belts still on this. I've only got 500 belts left. So next up I need to have ingredient belts running into these which has got to go from this side zoom out a little bit and that want to run all the way down to there and then I have another one that will also run all the way down over to there this one back this side I need to have a collection belt that will run out that side and then I need to put an ingredient belt that will run down on this side of these so again it's a double ingredient belt that's got to run in through there so that's the basic belts set out on this. I've got 73 Mark II sorters, which will be enough for what I want on here. So I'm going to bring one out, one out, and one out there. We'll get rid of those two bits of belt, and then we'll come in over on this side, and we will put... One in here and one in here. I will get rid of the belts going up to there. And then I will set the rest of these up in exactly the same pattern. They will move in like that. So that's those first bits. And then I can come down over here and I can do these the same all the way through like this. We can just run down. Uh, these are only two ingredients on each of them, so it's quite quick and easy. The next one has got three ingredients, which take a little bit longer. It's, it's, it's not going to take all that long, though, is it? Not really. And drop that one in. I can't see. Uh, 
there and down to there. So I will tidy up the belt on the end of that line and then we can go back over to here. So what I want to do here is I just want to take a look at the recipe. There's two, two and one. So plastic is going to be the one on the outside belt up here. I will go like that. Bring that out and then that one will come out like that. So that's going to be the edge of that belt over there. Uh, what I'm also going to do is... Where have I got the outfeed that's on that one? So I want to remove you so that it is exactly the same. It doesn't, honestly, it doesn't really make any difference, does it? Uh, but I'm still going to do it anyway. And we take 50 of these. So I want that one to come out on the second from the right. That's where we're going to put that. All the way through here. That one as well, and then these two. I really, really love that the belts don't force you in round. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to do a little bit, because I was thinking that we would just hook these straight round onto here, but the plastic needs to be on the outside one, because that is only going to be moving uh, one, whereas the others are going to need to move two items in for each item that is made so the plastic has got to be the one that travels the uh, longest distance I don't have any other way of doing that so it means that we're gonna have to do an up and over on the belts up at the other end I mean it's not the end of the world it's it's not a, a terrible terrible hardship or anything like that but it, it is just a, a slight inconvenience so just go and put these in here. Am I going to run out? No, I'm not. I've got just enough. Put these in here. Because I've also got to have another 10 to put together the... Uh, to do the outfeed. But I'll start making them in a minute. I've actually got... I, I do actually have enough for those. I don't need to make any more. But I will do anyway. So these right here... I could start making the really super fat, the, the Mark III sorters. I'm not going to worry about them yet, though. And I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, 40 of them like that. It's actually going to make me 80. And that'll keep everything running along quite swish on there. So the graphite tubes, they need to come out. And what I will do with these is they will come out by three and then down and drop back in like that because that's going to give me just enough room to bring a belt from here move it up unfortunately there we go right i can drop that one into there like that and then i can dismantle that bit and that bit and now i can bring belt back in i want to connect the belt on there and i want to connect it down there like that that beautiful little hook over that jimmy j taught me um absolutely wonderful i really like that one get rid of that tesla tower because that's going to be in the way a little bit there and i will move over this side like that i want a tesla tower in there for power on that bit Another one over here. Uh, basically, I've got to put Tesla Towers in here so that I can cover some of these bits. See, that one's not going to be covered. And if I go over here, it's got to be out by... Actually, that will... It'll be covered over here. So I, I don't actually need to put that one in there. Probably don't need that one in there either, to be honest. So we'll get rid of them. And I will put in another tesla tower that one i will put right up tight over there and then i'll stick another one in over this side right so there's a few bits there done uh, next we want another belt now this one is going to go from the right as we're looking at it over to this side down over here no it's not actually because i need to turn these into the purple blocks yet this is an ingredient for the purple block. I haven't actually made the purple blocks yet. So we want a belt to go that way to carry them away to the next manufacturing facility. And then um, we can bring the stuff in to the purple blocks. 
So we're going to need to get rid of that one and that one like that. And then we can go with logistics and have these down here. So that's going to come out. We'll take these out on the center of each of these. So sorters coming out onto the belt. This is going to be bringing out our fiber optic cables onto these super fast belts. And there's the last one. Okay, so there's everything in place there. And now if I go back into the Tesla Towers, I can then run along and... Well, I'm actually going to have to put these fairly close together in order to be able to fully reach the bits in the middle. Give them... See? like uh, the, the circle doesn't quite reach very well into the middle. We've got the new orbital thing that is available haven't made any yet it's that one there the satellite substation we've got a couple more ingredients that we've got to make in order to be able to use that we will get to it that is on the to-do list so these in here they require three graphene and one titanium three graphene so i'm going to take the graphene out from this side over here that one in there is the titanium it's actually going to be a fairly easy one. You know, I'm wondering if I should bring the titanium out and then split it across here. No, I don't think I will. Right. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll leave that bit there. And then I will bring a belt here. And that belt is just going to come out here. Tab onto titanium like that. So it's filtering out the titanium. And then I can drop that in. So there's the titanium. It's one titanium. It's going to be three graphene to be able to build this thing and then I'm going to I think that a splitter might be in order on here just to do this bit I think that's what we will do so we'll bring that bit out I will get rid of that one a second actually it's this one that I wanted to get rid of not the other one and then I'm going to take a logistics belt, and that belt is going to go from here, and it's going to run down to that side down there. There we go. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And then I can do something similar over here. Before I put that one down, though, I'm going to have one of these. And this one, I want to have that. I can't go in any further, so that one's got to come up here like this. And then we can take the belts. We'll have a belt that will come out and hook down into there. I can't bring a belt out there. It's got to come out a little bit further, which means that I do have to get rid of you. We will put down another power point in a second comes down that way it goes over and then it goes over as far as there right there's that bit tesla tower can't go in there that one goes over there nothing is out of range of the power which means then what i can do is i can have the belt coming off the end of there and i can drop it straight in on Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.